A major WWE star contract expires, plus Rhea Ripley slams disrespectful fans, and Mercedes Money could be heading to Impact. It's all in the wrestling news right now. Why oh, have you got lovely hands? Thank you. I use Timothy. I've heard of her. Goldberg flavoured news to get us started. That WCW tyrant from the late 90s who burst into existence, ploughed through the locker room and used his famous catchphrase, cashier number one, please. I mean, you're next. We've got some news about him, haven't we? You've seen the title, right? Don't, <laughs> don't even think about it, Tony. Do not even <laughs> think about it. <laughs> We're watching you. Goldberg's done with WWE. His contract has expired. According to Fightful Select, Bill Goldberg's contract expired at the end of 2022 and no deal to renew or extend was reached. Goldberg has officially been a free agent since that point. Do not even think about it, Tony Khan. Right? Don't. Just don't. There is no need. Carry on. Naughty boy. Uh, Goldberg's final match in his WWE tenure was back in February, a losing effort to Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber in Saudi Arabia. I think the majority of his matches in the tail end of his WWE time has been... I mean, Sorry. That, <laughs> but also in Saudi Arabia, uh, not that the two are connected. He did have a banger with Bobby Lashley uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, that was good. That yeah. was a good one, actually. You know a bit of recovery. I like, I like the doll thing as well. I thought that was funny. Oh, they had uh, me the, for that. It, hey, look, listen, Goldberg does Goldberg. His matches, <laughs> we know exactly what we're getting, generally speaking, anyway. Um, and... Uh, <sighs> He's been he's been fine, and he's put some people over. The booking's been uh, at some I mean, point. The majority of his matches in the, like the last ten matches he's had, the majority have been losses. Yeah, they have been. He's lost more in WWE than I think he ever did in WCW. And, it, and if Tony does get on the blower, right? And you would think by now he might have done so. They might have come to something. If this if this finished at the end of 2022, he's had a couple of months now. Um, you would think that a deal would have been reached, and he may have popped up, or we would have heard a few more things. I could understand why I'd want him because he is still a draw. There's a reason that WWE used him for so long. Love him or hate him, and I'm not fussed about seeing Goldberg wrestle ever again. The guy does sell tickets and pay-per-view buys. Well, Fightful Select added that there were rumours that AEW was interested in Goldberg in 2019. That was never confirmed. And Goldberg has recently told Sports Illustrated that he would be interested in a retirement match. But that would surely be in WWE. They would just get him for a one and done and bill it as a retirement match, and that would sell lots and lots of tickets. I don't know, maybe AEW want to put that on. If, if, right, let's just fantasy book it, Tom. If he if he goes to AEW, who do you put him up against? Against it. Um, I'd have him lose to Wardlow nice. or Hobbs. That's a really good shot. Let's let's hand over the beefy boy uh, hat. Yeah. Let's let's no, no not one more Goldberg sting. No, don't be silly, Billy. <laughs> no one needs that sort of thing. Alternatively, Conrad Thompson picks up the phone. We do Bill Goldberg's last match against Ric Flair. I thought you were gonna. I thought you said God, Conrad picks up the phone. Hey, Bill, you want to fight? <laughs> Retirement match? Shut me up! Then spear the bejesus out of me, girl, Billy boy. Do that maybe. Um, I think. Yeah, I think if he, if if he has another match, it'll be to to pass the torch mm -hmm. to the so next should, yeah. big boy. But you're right, and I I didn't give him his his respect there because he did lose the majority of his matches in, yeah, in recent times. So thanks, Bill. Rubbish. You've, been, you've been really fun. <laughs> yeah, Goldberg, you're rubbish. Always losing. <laughs> There's a whole generation of younger wrestling fans who go, Goldberg, he's rubbish. He keeps losing. Oh, man, I was watching some old WCW stuff the other day from, like, uh, 99, and it, oh, he was a different beast. The, the moves that he was pulling out, nobody on the roster was doing. He was sensational. The intensity, there was. there's never been anyone like Goldberg. There's one intense 25 person. years ago. Yeah, there was the, the, in terms of intensity in 2023, let's talk Rhea Ripley. Uh, good morning, Mummy. Nice to have you with us today. Uh, now, Rhea Ripley had a run-in at an airport and she's tweeted about it. I wanted to bring it up because I think, yes, Queen Slay. Uh, she tweeted, people need to respect that no means no. At airports, do not follow me outside. Today has put me off completely. I will not sign anything that isn't a personal photo of us anymore. Hate me, I don't care. Disagree with me, try putting yourselves in our shoes for one bloody day. And I'm with this, right? Airports are stressful at the best of times. And when you've got, and I'm a wrestling fan too, when you've got dickheads like us coming up to you with boards full of Funko Pops when you've been on a flight for nine hours. No, shut off. Seriously. It's embarrassing. Like, I 
It's, I hate it. Like, the airport, I, I'm, I'm a believer that uh, you should always be nice all the time, but you get to buy at an airport. I think airports are the most stressful place on planet Earth. <laughs> Even I've been tested at airports. And, uh, and I think that... Like, it really it was something that I thought fair play, because I've seen Liv Morgan getting harangued by people looking to sign stuff. These Ray boards recently. Of Ray, 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 did, Ray was filmed very politely declining to sign stuff because he's just been on a long-haul flight, and there's these guys with Funko Pops on a big bull. Like, he's very politely declining. Someone's filming him without his mask on, which is a pretty... You know, crappy thing to do when I've that's you know. Never seen his face before. No, neither oh. have I. <laughs> What's he look like? This, right, you, My you, network's all blocked. You get weirdos in every fandom, and mm. some people generally aren't very nice. But uh, wrestling certainly has its fair share of socially inept, smelly losers. <laughs> Subscribe buttons down there. By the way. Um, it's just, it's just not on, obviously. Especially like, it, it, if you wanna, if you wanna go and ask for a photo, maybe an airport isn't the best time or no. anything. If you're a fan, you want a picture with your favorite wrestler, then, then totally cool. Going up with a board full of Funko Pops to resell on eBay is just a dick move. It's just, and, and those people should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. Get real jobs. <laughs> yes. Like be, us. Do, <laughs> do YouTube stuff. It's real. It's real, Dad. Uh, we send our love to Rhea Ripley. Honestly, I read that and I just went, yeah, I'm with that. I agree with that. Well, nobody's going to disagree apart from these smelly neckbeard weirdos, right? She goes, that... I don't care what you think of me. It's, everybody's just going to go, oh, yeah, Rhea, you're completely right. Because she is. There'll be some that will go, well, they're famous, so therefore they're public property. Oh, like, yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, no, we... public property's a bench. We made you, Rhea. Uh... We made you. We watched you on television. We gave you our hard-earned <laughs> hours. <laughs> I watched the Weirdos. TikTok that you were in, therefore I own you. <laughs> Shut up. I wish I did. Carry on. <laughs> um, Raw last night, we had uh, a few NXT lads at the taping, didn't we? Certainly did. Uh, Charlie Dem Dempsey, rather, the son of William Regal, making his Raw taping debut in a losing effort to Shelton Benjamin. So that's going to be our main event. Um, alongside Nathan Fraser versus Bronson Reed. Um, it's been reported recently that more NXT stars are going to be appearing on these tapings, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's call-ups being planned or anything. No. It's just a way for them to get a bit more proper TV experience. It's incentive proper and TV. speculatory sort of reasons behind it, really, just to see how they look. And, all, and also, I think it is a, a nice incentive to have if you're down there. You know, if you oh, work yeah, hard, sure. work on your bit, do what you need to do, and we'll give you a run out and roar. And if it works, then uh, off you go. Yeah. So I think it's Who all doesn't right. want to be on main event? That Charlie Dempsey's something else, isn't he? Yeah, and, and it's and you know the son of William Regal, so it's nice that father and son are hanging out again. Yeah, on a Monday night, you love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, could Mercedes Many be hanging out in Impact Wrestling? Well, she did a Q and A at Planet Comic Con in Kansas City and talked about a possible match against the Impact Knockouts Champion Mickey James. She said, "I'm waiting for the bag." <laughs> Don't call her that. <laughs> Come on, I know she's getting on. <laughs> no, she was. She was. She was doing the. She was doing the Q and A while she was in Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. just just let me get my. Waiting shape. for the bag. Hang on, they're throwing the stuff down. Um, I'm waiting for Mickey James. But absolutely, do I do want to wrestle Mickey James? Legit, one of my idols, someone who I grew up with, and was just like, wow, that was such a standard to me. She talks about her love of the Mickey Trish storyline that ran uh, into WrestleMania, the, the the stalker love triangle thing. Love, Fantastic love, stuff. Um, wasn't it? You know, triangle. <laughs> <I> <laughs> love, that's the one. Oh, that's exactly they cut the off word. the network. There'll, yeah. be a, there'll be a certain. I can see Ray's face on the network, but I can't see that. I saw that. Can't about. imagine why. Don't know what that meant. See it here. They know what that meant, mate. Uh, but she was, Funny. she was. Oh, is it? Oh, blimey. Well, she was very, she was very excited about that. And Mickey James has responded directly to Mercedes Money on Twitter with, "I see you, I hear you, I love you, I respect you. I'd be honoured. Try me." And Money responded with a Mickey James gift. So <laughs> that one. And sadly, not that one. <laughs> Kenny McIntosh did that, and you can find that on Giphy or whatever it's oh, called. Is it? I, oh, I love it. I think it's so funny. What do we need to search for to pull that up? Uh, I, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say it. Let's get, us say it yeah. <laughs> get, get creative. Uh, so I, you know what? Mercedes Money, IWGP Women's Champion. She has said that she wants to take the belt on tour, uh, rock up to, to different promotions in different places. And what with Impact doing some stuff in New Japan? 
Stranger things have happened. Yeah, I think it happened. It's, it's something that it's not the first time that it's been teased. There's a reason that Sasha, sorry, Mercedes is being asked about this. Fans want to see it. I'd love to see it in an Impact ring because, like, it would be such a good get for Impact Wrestling. Oh. Lots of people put on a, an absolute banger of a show, right, and have that as the main event. Get everybody watching. Maybe you'll get a new, a few new fans that way. I'm, I'd, I'd love to see it. I'd absolutely love to see it. We'd love to see it, and we'd love to see you back here when there's more wrestling news. You can check it out throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> That's weird. Monstrous. One. <laughs>